Hello there guys and girls, welcome to episode 4 of my fan art tutorial series. In this episode, as you can see, I am going to be drawing the remaining of the green and yellow cup, and then we'll draw some more of Kazuha's scarf and then anything else that we can, if we've got time to do so. Um, so yeah. I remember from last year, back in Genshin Impact, there was this uh, story arc called The Dark Knight Hero. And it's where, when one of the citizens described him as, Oh, he is a businessman during the day, and take down bad guys at night. That actually reminded me of Batman. It's because Batman usually appears at night and fights criminals. And that's the sort of thing the Dark Knight hero does. Oh, come to think of it, I've not tuned into Batman for ages. <laughs> but anyway. I was kind of surprised that the Dark Knight hero was d -Luck. but then again he tends to keep to himself and even on the first cutscene I saw of d at the beginning of the game, I cannot believe d could have lied to some Favonia soldier saying, no thief is hiding in my tower. Then again, the Knights of Favonia were very mean to d dad ages ago, but still, I don't think a nobleman like d should Lie to people, don't you agree? At least g look is proper nice and he even lets you stay over at his mansion. And yes, I actually have g look on my crew, but at Constellation Zero. <laughs> but I unlocked him quite late. I think it was when I was at Adventure Rank 50, so it was pretty late. But he didn't take that long to grind to level 90, but I did have to beat up that annoying flame plant Pyro I just find over and over and over again. Like I've already explained once before, but there you go. I hope Hoyaverse makes a part 2 to d Look's story because his story arc was actually very good. I'm surprised he is on the standard banner and not as a limited banner, but oh well. Recently I just finished Alhaitham's story, which has to do with tracking down the hive for the bad guy involved called Siraj. Man, Alhaitham's one was well long. It's like 1.5 hours long. The dungeon segment at the end was pretty good with some simple puzzles so at least I knew what I was doing and did not have to look up the answers. <laughs> I did make one mistake in the Beehive dungeon but this was like an off-screen play so it's not actually been recorded. While I was playing as Alhatham I fell off and took too much fall damage and Alhatham died. And I was like whoops sorry Alhatham and obviously I revived him. Imagine how silly I'll hear them would have looked if that actually happened and it was actually in a canonical cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Back in the earlier episodes I mentioned I'm trying to get Kazuhi on my team, right? Well, guess what? I finally got him. <laughs> and his banner nearly expired. I had one last pull four hours before the Kazuha banner expired and I actually got him. I was so surprised since I had one last chance and when I got him I was like thinking finally because I was trying to get him in 2022 in a similar way to how I was trying to get Shao in 2022 and I've got both these guys <laughs> and it's like wow <laughs> can't believe it but Kazuha's only at Constellation Zero meaning that I don't have all his Constellation upgrades and the chance of me being able to get his get his upgrades is insanely low at this point so I think I'm gonna have to just use him at C0 but yeah uh, just imagine if I did not do that one last pull or I did not have 160 primo gems for that last pull then that's it I would have actually have uh, lost my chance of getting Kazuha this year <laughs> now I have to go grind with that samurai boss a bunch of times to build them to level 90 as of this recording I actually have Kazuha at level 60 so I need to beat up that samurai boss like another 15 16 times I don't know uh, about 15 more times <laughs> yeah there's some grinding involved but there you go I've not done a lot of hangouts but I did finish four of them I finished Barbara's one who has five endings Bennett's who has uh, six endings Chong Young's who has six endings I think and Noel who has uh, 12 endings yeah, 12 endings is a lot for a hangout. The funniest thing about Barbara's hangout are the crazy fans that want her autograph. Yeah, you know, the Barbara Summer, Barbara Summer, Barbara Summer! <laughs> and I was like thinking, 
is this the Speed Demon movie with the It's Michael Jackson all over again, just a game version of it with a different character. Good job you don't have to run away from the crazy fans, but you do have to tell them all to leave, which is kind of mean, but oh well. And yes, you even obtain an achievement to tell the fans to go away. It's like, wow, you'd never be able to successfully get MJ fans to go away in reality. <laughs> Fun fact, I have Barbara at Constellation 6. And the only character I have in the whole game at C6. Unfortunately, Barbara isn't as good as her sister Jean is. I've used Barbara as a melody loop and got frozen a bunch of times so far. Not a great skill to have. And Barbara's birth, which is called Miracle Shine, heals a lot. But Jean's heals just as much and Jean's dandelion breeze hits enemies like a brake train. Barbara's burst does not hurt enemies with her burst at all. <laughs> well, Jean is a 5 star character, whereas Barbara is a 4 star character. So of course the developers are, are going to make it this way. Chong Young's Hangout is quite good. He looks moody in one of his official artworks. He's not like that at all when you do his hangouts. He smells quite a few times and he freaks out a few times when he does something wrong. He even has youngsters loving him after he does hide and seek with them. And he gives one of his popsicles to one of them in one of the decisions he made because uh, he has popsicles to keep his yang energy high because he's supposed to be an exorcist. I've not used Chong Young a lot so I can't really rate him much but oh well. Noel's hangout is quite good. I liked the part where you're to Master Cyrus, one of the senior members of the Venture Guild, and he has an accent. I wonder how it would sound like in Japanese. I guess I can check if I remember. I was kind of sad when Noel declined Cyrus's offer to be an adventurer since she passed all three trials in one of the decision pathways. I was half expecting Noel to have an alternate outfit in an adventure style clothing, but obviously that didn't happen. The reason why Noelle declined is because she wants to join the Knights of Pavonius and she wants an exam practice somewhere else. <laughs> I've noticed there's not a lot of alternate outfits for characters. In fact, most characters have one outfit. I think it's because there's 80 playable characters in the game already. Anyway, Bennett's hangout is quite good. And I like the part where Royce gets annoyed but apologises to Bennett and for some reason, Bennett is very forgiving. This shows Bennett is a nice boy. Oh yeah, I only have Bennett at C1. Many people have said to avoid Bennett's Constellation 6 upgrade because it stops you from getting Melt Swirl. Basically, it stops you from getting bonus damage by mixing elements on enemies. And if you activate Bennett's last Constellation, it's permanent. That's why I think Shangling is a bit better than Bennett because none of her Constellations hurt the team in any way, so yeah. Right, since this video is over in a few minutes, I'll explain a few art-related things here. The thing with picking colours is sometimes it's really hard to get the exact hexadecimal code to get the right shade of colour. I think Kazuha's hair looks almost the same as the official artwork, but I think his scarf colours are slightly off. I think I end up moving the gold plate. Well, I think that's what the gold connecting object is on Kazuha, it's called. Good thing I put the gold plate on another layer because otherwise I would lose what I drew behind it. Sometimes when I finish a drawing I merge some layers together to save space because the layers I have, the slower the file saves. Once I made an animation with over 20 layers and it literally takes 10 seconds to save. So yeah, that's why I'm going to have 5 or 6 layers for the series. And yes, later on I'm going to need a layer for the background. Just as a heads up, I do make the background plain because I think the detail on Kazuha is more important. I did explain this in a different art video and I use blur filters for nice shine effects. I have used one blur filter for his hair, hence the white shines. I was thinking about putting a few small shines on the cup, but I don't think I have time and I think that might complicate things a bit. It does say on Hoyaverse's website, you can't have unfinished pictures, so that's why I have to make a background. I'll make a simple one with a window, so you know Kazuha is meant to be indoors. I've actually made a detailed background before, and here is one that I made where N is supposed to be in a pirate ship. Yeah, the lighting effect from the windows in that image took a while, but not ours. Look how evil my avatar looks in the corner. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, in the Genshin game, that expression is what Kazuha could have had, 
if he got possessed by that evil sword that was possessing other people in his story arc. Anyway, I digress. In the next episode, we will draw more of Kazuha's stuff and we will start drawing his hand in. <laughs> okay, I think that will do for episode number 4. So I'll see you guys and girls next time. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may tick like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.